six proven tactics for moving beyond a bad business decision. Understand that operational blunders are part of normal business life and unavoidable in any culture that fosters innovation and growth. Being comfortable with making mistakes is important, but so is what happens next. The next time you find yourself in an operational conundrum, remember these tactics and use them to move beyond a bad business decision. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I'm doing fantastic today. I hope you are doing marvelous. If you're doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you about six proven tactics for moving beyond a bad business decision. Number one, own up to the bad decision. If you're a business, business owner, things happen, stuff happens. You need to own up to it. You need to learn the most when we fail. And you have to acknowledge that you made a mistake and take time to learn from it. Now is not the time to sort of throw some kind of ego around and say, well, you know, this is not, I'm not responsible. No, you are responsible. You are in charge. Own up to it. You have to remember that it's important to own up to a bad decision as soon as possible because time in this, in this case works against you or works against the company. Take responsibility as ASAP. Don't blame others because the longer you wait, people will start thinking, oh, well, you know, maybe it's, it's him or it's, it's her, it's anybody else, or it's even the outside world, right? It's never our fault. It's always other people. No. As soon as you realize there is a bad decision has been made or a decision has had unintended consequences, don't let it linger. Don't jump in without a plan for how you're going to correct the, the mistake, but own up to it. That's the first step. Accept it, internalize it, and move on. Number two, once you own up to the bad decision, you have to sit down and really try to understand what really happened. You have to, uh, uh, experts call this the deconstruction phase. This is the phase where you are trying to deconstruct the, the process that led to the bad decision in the first place, right? How the decision was made, who was involved, what are the criteria and factors they looked at, what is what was the what were rather the decision making criteria, was the information solid, was there enough information, were stakeholders involved in the decision, what was the impact that led to the whole decision in the first place, did a wrong assumption lead to the bad decision? Those are elements that should be part of the brainstorming process, whether you know, unilateral brainstorming process. In other words, you thinking by yourself or having your, your senior leadership team with you. Now, generally leaders will involve their teams in analyzing mistakes and ensuring the right decision-making process are in place. That's fantastic, but that is not enough. You as the boss, you as the, the buck stops with you, right? You are, you are in a position where you can you can change things going forward. So you need to be proactive in a situation to correct the mistake. Another thing you need to think about is that the postmortem, and this is the decision after the, the time when you have to look at the decision after it's been made, that postmortem is not a platform or a time to blame others. We're not pointing fingers here. We are trying to understand the situation. We're trying to understand what really happened. And we're doing this in a very, very, objective and rational way and if you do that that will help you understand that will, that will help you focus on processes and uh, activities and tasks rather than people humans all right i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're also having a conversation around six proven tactics for moving beyond a bad business decision. In the first section, I spoke to you about owning up to the bad decision and understanding what really happened. Now, let's talk about number three. Decide whether to fix the blunder or move on. In any business decision, there are always challenges and um, there are always hurdles and opportunities you might be looking at something for instance and think oh wow this is a 
a threat. This is a bad decision. But from a bad decision can come a an opportunity, right? So it is critical to acknowledge the mistake and follow up with an action. But you can you have to think about whether you want to fix it. Fixing it may not always be the best response. Sometimes it's just better just to move on. In other words, to turn the page. You have to think about several things when making a when making a decision about fixing it or moving on. There are three critical items you have to pay attention to. What is the additional cost involved in fixing the mistake? Cost in terms of resources, in terms of uh, money, in terms of uh, reputation, in terms of a whole host of things go into effect when you when you analyze cost. And you have to think about short-term cost and long-term cost. If a mistake has been made and the mistake has uh, regulatory consequences, for example, in other words, government officials will have to come, they'll probably be sued by, and you, you, you'll get a fine, you'll have your reputation um, tarnished in the community. Those things will be, have, will be taken into account, must be taken into account. So cost. The second element you have to pay attention to is the staff. How is your decision to fix the blunder affect your current staff? Staff, your staff in terms of morale, in terms of their decision-making ability, their expertise level. In other words, do you have to train them? If you fix a, if you fix a problem, if you fix a bad decision, but don't put in place the controls that are going to prevent that that decision or that mistake from happening again, you're not you only fixing the problem 50%. So do you need to train your staff? How would they take it? Are, are they going to be on board? You have to think about those things. And the third element is the stakeholders. By stakeholders, I'm talking about your suppliers, your vendors, the regulators, the public at large. Okay. So those are the three things that you have to, the, the three factors you have to pay attention to when deciding whether you want to fix a blunder or move on. Number four, know when there is no lesson to learn. You see this a lot. The, 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 a lot of small business owners and um, you know, leaders, corporate leaders in general, always feel like there has to be a lesson to learn. But guess what? We are all humans. And sometimes stuff happens, mistakes happen. And the ability to accept it as a mistake and not think that, oh, you know, we got to learn something out of this. No, the, 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 in some cases, there's nothing to be learned. It's just a mistake. And you just have to put in place the mitigation strategies to make sure the next time it happens, even if you can't prevent it, you're able to be better off after its effect are gone. For instance, you can't say that um, you can't predict the weather. We have hurricanes or, or storms. You can't predict that, right? So, but you need to have a BCP scheme, a business continuity plan in place to make sure that the the impact of a hurricane or impact of a storm is not as uh, huge as it would have been had you had no bcp scheme in place all right so just accept it if you have if you are able to accept that some cases have no lessons to learn attached to them then you'll be fine all right, I'll be right back right after this. And I just want to say that if you love the quality and the clarity of the content so far, please consider subscribing to our channel. We want to continually expand our our viewer base, our listener base, and uh, turn on the notification bell so you are aware whenever we drop a new mail, a new show every single day. We do this every single day. Comment below, share, and like. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still having a conversation today around six proven tactics for moving beyond a bad business decision. Tactic number five, make the lesson part of the culture. Let's say you have identified a bad decision. You have owned up to it. You're comfortable that, you know, going forward, things, ha things will not happen the same way. Try to extract or try to adapt a policy, an operational policy based on the problem. You want to make it permanent. You want to make a permanent change. You want to change minds. You want to change behaviors. You want to change attitudes. And the best way to do this 
is to make the lesson part of the culture, right? So you're able to encourage your employees to stay clear, to, to steer clear of uh, certain processes that may lead to mistakes, right? You're able, for instance, if something happens and you have, let's say you have a, you have a factory, you have a small factory and there was an accident, there was a, an explosion at the, at, the, at the factory, you learn from it, but you have to put in place new procedures, new safety procedures, new safety policies that would prevent this sort of this sort of situation from happening again in the future. So this is what what it means to be to be alert, to be mindful, and to make the lesson part of the culture. Number six. Last but not the least, determine what investments are needed to avoid the same mistake happening again. Right. Now, of course, you can change the policies, you can change stuff, but you have to, if you have to make some investments, if you decide to fix the problem, then you're going to have to make some investments. You're gonna, you may have to invest in technology, hardware and software. You may have to uh, tweak your processes. You may have to train staff so that they are aware of, um, of the risks and the mitigation policies. You may have to outsource the resolution of the problem to a consultant or a consulting company. You're going to have to change the way leadership and hierarchy and oversights are distributed across the company, who reports to whom, who, who supervises whom, when, where. Those are stuff that you need to do. And yet you need to do some tweaks on the organ on the org chart of the company. Right. Also, if there are investments needed to to be made in terms of policies to make sure this doesn't happen again, the mystic doesn't happen again. So this is in a nutshell, some of the things you need to do to avoid to actually move beyond a bad business decision. Let me quickly recap those six elements here, folks. Number one, own up to the bad decision Two, understand what really happened. Three, decides whether to fix the blunder or move on. Four, know when there is no lesson to learn. Five, make the lesson part of the culture. Six, determine what investments are needed to avoid the mystic happening again. Thank you so much for listening to today's conversation. I will speak to you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>